All right, so honestly, I don't even know how to review this movie here. Like, I feel like I'm gonna need a drink just to review it and like to get through this review because this movie is just like, what the fuck? This movie Tusk, right? I, I don't know. I don't know the how I just watched, to be honest. I feel my eyes are burning. I want to wash my eyes out with some acid, like for real. I've heard about this movie before, long time ago. I heard people call it like um, Human Centipede with, wi with Walruses, which sounded stupid as fuck to me. I've seen two out of three Human Centipede movies, the first one and the second one, and I don't find the Human Centipede movies scary or disturbing. I kept laughing through the whole first centipede movie, human centipede movie, like I just kept straight up laughing. I thought it was a comedy. I it's gross, I give it that, but it wasn't disturbing. So when I heard that this movie Tusk exists and it's like human centipede with walruses, I didn't even care to see it. But I don't know, like for whatever strange reason, it keeps popping up on my Netflix um recommended movies and i have no idea why i don't know what netflix is thinking sometimes to be honest certain movies re they recommend to me on there like i have no idea why but whatever so it keep popping up on there so i'm like well, let, let me watch this crap and i figured i'm gonna laugh through this movie the same way i laughed through the human centipede okay but um, i don't know why but this movie fucking just I can't even close my eyes. I close my eyes and I see this damn walrus in front of my eyes just popping up there like boo and I'm just... The idea is stupid as fuck. The premise is stupid as fuck. It's, the execution is cheesy. The walrus looks fake. But for some reason it's also very deeply unsettling and disturbing, right? In this movie, a madman is turning a human into a human walrus. It stars Justin Long, is this guy Wallace who gets turned into a walrus. Wallace the walrus, get it? It also stars the late actor Michael Parks who plays the madman and it also has Johnny Depp in this movie. Chewing scenery, the whole movie, just legit chewing scenery the whole movie. And I was at first wondering how much did they pay Johnny Depp to be in this movie? Or like, did they blackmail him or something? But then I realized that Johnny Depp likes to be in weird ass movies anyways so probably didn't take much convincing and this movie is also directed by kevin smith whom i mostly know him for the movie dogma but i believe that most people know him from the movie mall rats chasing emmy and like the creating the characters of jay and silent bob which apparently they get they do in a sequel or a reboot of that movie soon or something. And I know that he also did make another horror movie called The Red State, which is actually pretty good. I've seen that one and I believe Michael Parks was in that one as well and he scared the shit out of me in that movie. I don't even remember too for sure how the movie went exactly, but I just remember that Michael Parks' character was really scary in that. And like... um. And he's scary in this movie too. Still, like, I never would think Kevin Smith and I would think of him making a movie like this movie I just watched just now, right? And, like, thanks to this movie, I will never look at Kevin Smith the same. Um, I will never look at Justin Long the same. And, God damn it, I, I can't look at them walruses the same. I don't think I ever want to see another walrus ever again in my life so yeah so this weird ass movie goes a little something like this justin long plays this guy that's a podcaster named wallace and he basically like on his podcast with him and his friend played by Haley j osman they basically like make fun of people and um the movie starts with this viral video of this kid on youtube that tries to perform some type of a trick with a samurai sword and ends up accidentally chopping off his own foot and this guy lives in canada and wallace wants to go to canada to interview this guy so they could like make fun of him on their podcast and laugh about it but when he goes to canada it turns out that the guy had killed himself so like wallace is like oh shit what i'm gonna do now he he doesn't have an idea for his shitty podcast anymore so he kind of hangs around and in this bar he sees a advertisement left by somebody that um Basically, they offering free room and board for the person that would come to their house and listen to their stories because apparently the person that wrote the advertisement has a lot of stories to tell or something like that. And Wallace decides to go and like speak to that person, listen to their stories, and I guess make fun of them on their podcast. 
Oh, and this also reminds me, by the way, of like how the idea for this movie came to be. Because like I read up on it because I, I, I had to read up on it to just figure like where the fuck do you get ideas for movies like that. So I read up on it and apparently it's based on a podcast that Kevin Smith himself like hosts or something. Where um, there's something about a fake advertisement on the internet or in a newspaper, I forgot where exactly, about like offering free room and board to the person who would be willing to be dressed in a walrus suit while they stay there. So when Kevin Smith heard about this fake advertisement, he asked his audience if they want him to make a movie about it and they had to vote walrus yes or walrus no and apparently enough people voted walrus yes for him to create this monstrosity right so yeah so so walrus goes to this person's house and he meets this man howard who appears to be this crippled old man in a wheelchair right and i gotta say though i do give kevin smith like that he did build up attention pretty well for that scene where like wallace drives up to this house in the middle of nowhere to meet this guy howard and like this scene is really creepy and you definitely can feel that something bad is going to happen to him because of the way like that scene is built up is really like it takes him a really long time to get there like he takes like this really long walk through the guy's house and there's like you you get this anticipation right that that some shit about to go down there i do give kevin smith that that he built up the tension for that scene really well so anyway so he meets this guy and long story short howard ends up dragging wallace and um he proceeds to chop off his foot and he tells wallace that it was the reason his foot was cut off is because he had get bitten by some type of a poisonous spider his foot his leg swelled up and they called a the doctor and the doctor chopped off his foot but when wallace asked him to stay talk to this doctor see this doctor how come he's not in a hospital like howard keeps giving him the run around and giving him bullshit answers and when wallace asks to use a phone where's his cell phone howard basically tells him that the doctor removed it because he didn't want wallace to be stressed and the phone would cause stress and he wanted him to be in a stress-free environment like a bunch of bullshit wallace obviously doesn't believe him and he keeps suspecting him and Later on in the day, him and Howard are having dinner and like Howard just straight up like, mocking him almost at the dinner table and Wallace is like, what is this bullshit? And all of a sudden we see that Howard actually stands up from the wheelchair. He'd been faking that he's crippled all along. He can walk, blah, blah, blah. And long story short, he tells Wallace that he intends to turn him into a human walrus. So Wallace is terrified. He he manages at some point to get his hands on a cell phone and he calls his girlfriend and his best friend but they're not answering the phone because they're actually having sex with each other because the girlfriend is cheating on Wallace with his best friend and that's why they didn't pick up the phone but he leaves them like this lengthy voicemail honestly I don't know why didn't he just call the cops but you know I guess you panic in certain situations and whatever but they don't listen to his message until like the morning after and by that time it's too late and while he's leaving this message, Howard finds him talking on the phone and he knocks him out and basically tells him like, your human life is over, you better learn how to live as a walrus or not live at all, right? And he proceeds to do further surgeries on him until he turns him into a damn walrus, okay? When they like revealed how he would look like as a damn walrus, that shit just fucked me up because, I don't know, like, it looked extremely fake and really silly and cheesy but at the same time it looks so creepy and unsettling like i can't really explain why but it just looked it just looked so disgusting like and my thing is that for this movie they use practical effects like no cgi or anything like that so for what it's worth justin long really wore inside a damn walrus suit and i'm pretty sure that that shit was as uncomfortable as he appears to be and he does do a good job portraying like the suffering that he goes through inside this damn walrus suit all we really see is like his eyes and his eyes look like he's straight up suffering he like he I, his eyes look like he's full of pain okay he really looks scared suffering uncomfortable all type of emotions that you probably experience in a messed up situation like that you see it right there in his performance you can show me all type of gore and movies like the shit wouldn't phase me this movie didn't even really have any like 
two graphically gory scenes probably the whole movie has maybe like two or maybe three scenes that could be considered gory and not even like explicitly but somewhat whatever what's like disturbed me about this movie is i don't think it was like the gore i don't know i'm i'm, I'm grasping the straws exactly for why this movie messed with me so much but for whatever reason it did and i really do think that you need to see this damn walrus for yourself for you to realize just how messed up that looks And like the thing is you know that it's coming from the description of the movie but when you see it it still hits you like it's built as like horror slash comedy to be honest with the comedy aspect of this movie they really missed me whatever jokes they were supposed to have in this movie i kind of get where certain parts were supposed to be funny but all the jokes in this movie fell flat to me like not one of those jokes hit so as a comedy this movie definitely missed the mark as a horror it's pretty um effective though just because of this whole creepiness going on in there this weirdness this just like what the fuck so i wouldn't say it was necessarily a bad movie but i for sure would not be watching this ever again like ever i guess i do gotta give it credit for disturbing me because movies don't really disturb me believe it or not it takes a lot to like disturb me and like this movie tusk also has a pretty fucked up ending i read up some reviews on imbds a lot of people complaining how the ending was stupid and unrealistic but if you're willing to suspend your disbelief enough to to watch a movie where a, a man will turn another man into a walrus then you can suspend your disbelief to to believe that whatever happened at the end of the movie could actually happen in that universe i guess that's just the reality that you have to accept so my thing with it is not that it was unrealistic and stupid my thing with it that it was just so fucked up like the ending is just bleak messed up no hope nothing like then the way that justin long's character wallace is portrayed in the movie he's portrayed as a jerk he's not portrayed like he's a nice person at all and i think like they, they portray him this way to kind of justify what happens to him and that you wouldn't feel bad for him for what happens to him they missed me on that one because i still felt bad because i don't care how much of a jerk he was i don't think he deserved all that shit now like if he would have just got killed in this movie or something, I would be like, I would have been like good for his ass. But I think that he suffered fate worse than death, so I don't think he deserved all that now. It also has a few scenes that kind of like don't fit with the whole tone of the movie and are kind of weird, which to me are all those like little comedy attempts that they have in this movie. And it also has this really weird scene that I have no idea what it's doing in this movie, why I was included in it, where Wallace's girlfriend does this like monologue about the way Wallace treats her and cheats on her and shit like that. And she kind of talks straight, looking straight into the camera when she delivers this monologue, kind of breaking the fourth wall. I have no idea why I was included in this movie at all. And honestly, it had a few like scenes in there that just dragged and could have been removed. This movie was silly at times, but at the same time, it was still fucking disturbing. I don't know. I just I'm telling you, every time I close my damn eyes, I see this damn walrus. Like the fuck. I needed to do this review so I could purge my soul out of this demon. I'm telling you. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoy my review. Subscribe to my channel. All that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.